Okay, Mio 12.5 base, China beta, or you can say MIUI V and addition. Another ported room is here for the Mio 12 devices. If you have Redmi Note 9s, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, or Poco M2 Pro, you can install this build on your device. MIUI V and addition ports, a lot of already available on the Cortana channel or Mio 12 channel. You can go and find out if you want to. But this one is a port from a new developer, so you can support him. Of course, it has some bit of bugs there, which I will list in this video, so stay tuned. Of course, it's based on Android version 11 with the latest September security patch. And you need to install Agni kernel to make it work. And as you can see, the Agni kernel is there. It's not pre-installed. It's not by default, by the way. Whenever you install this, I'll show you that how you can install this at the, let at the later part of this video, so stay tuned. In the terms of default UI, as you can see, UI is basically same. You can enable the search bar if you want to. It, the best thing is by default, you don't get the super wallpaper as your default wallpaper. That's good because that makes your device laggy. It's better. Also, what I've noticed so far after installing this thing is let me show you one thing. I have this app word. I have this Google discover everything. If I have enabled app word, it's not there. Of course, a lot of things have been deblocked in this build including this one which means it's not working google discover is of course working if you have google installed i haven't installed that so i'm not sure about that but no it's of course but the thing is app word is not working in the terms of default ui default launcher of course the new widget section is present here the new ui in the default launcher it's a ported room by the way so that's why you're facing some bit of bugs here but don't worry these are not the major bugs these are minor bugs can be easily compromised if you want to in the terms of other options the ui is not so laggy of course it's me ui but still it's that it's not that much laggy you can use positive kernel for the better performance i'm not sure about that in my case it booted into fast boot mode maybe in your case it will work the quick settings panel or basically this control center includes this new miui 13 media controller for you this is something really interesting if you love this you will definitely love this if you use this you will love this too in the terms of other option let me show you these tiles you can see we have six big tiles available and the things you can customize in miui vn addition this is available as an option available in settings which we're going to talk about later on let's just talk about the camera related stuff here the camera has the 48 megapixel etc the default camera ui is kind of same 48 megapixel night sight panorama slow motion everything is there there is no clone mode there is no vlog mode of course that is not available by default but still it's not bad the camera does not have any kind of issues i tried recording videos in 1080p 60 fps i tried recording that so yes it was working perfectly fine as it is MIUI VN edition, so yes, some features are present here like display and control center, etc. I made a specific video on MIUI VN edition for Redmi Note 10 Pro also. If you want to check it out, you can. Here I explained some features. For example, if you move on here and if you have these options available rounding the window, show weather, etc. You get the option of enabling the 5th and 6th style if you want to. And like this, you have some customizations in status bar too. In status bar customizations, you can customize the status bar style, which is shown as style 1 or 2, which is basically iOS style or AOSP style, whichever you want to use. You have some battery icon related customization too. If you want the old MIUI style icon pack icon for your battery, you can enable that or you can use this Android style battery indicator too. It's up to you. In the terms of home screen customizations in advanced power menu. One thing to keep in mind, don't use power menu 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 because these are useless. And if you enable this, you need to force reboot your device to make it work. This is the thing you need to keep in mind. I'm again telling you, don't use power menu 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Only use power menu 1 or 2 or MIUI 13 style, which I have enabled on my device. In the terms of notifications, you can customize a bit of things. And last but not the least, all other options are already present here for you. Display, etc. Always on display, it's not there. Don't worry, always on display is not there. That was kind of useless, by the way, because I don't think so. In LCD panel, you need that. In the security section, the new security options are present for you. Set screen, lock, shut, shutdown, confirmation, etc. And some extra options include in these special features features like game turbo video toolbox everything is new in this build you can try go and explore that so now how to install this this is the main thing these are the two files which you need to install on your device these are actually necessary 
in my case one is room file second one is the kernel file so just install this link to install these things or download these things are already in the description in my case i'm using orange fox custom recovery in your case you might be using any other custom recovery but orange fox custom recovery is always recommended so i have to wipe these three partitions and make sure your story make sure your custom room and kernel is in sd card or external storage because the steps which i am following right now you need to format data first in my case this is what i am following you can you can use any other steps also as you can see i wiped some partitions formatted data now move on here click on reboot and reboot to recovery this is the main thing you need to keep in mind after clicking here now we're gonna install this thing so click this first of all this is the rom file which you need to install swipe to install it will take some time to install on your device so you need to stay tuned it might take approximately four to five minutes or maybe more than that and after the installation as you can see installation is succeeded i paused that video for the installation time after installing as we have just rebooted our device let me show you if you don't install the kernel and if you after installation of the rom if you go and try to reboot your device it will stuck at this logo for some time and after that your device will be booted into fast boot mode maybe in your case it will not but maybe if you also uh, if you are also having issues with this thing let me show you as you can see my device was booted and now it's booted into fast boot mode then if you want to boot your device simply hold down the power button and the volume up button for some seconds and just wait for some time your device will be booted into custom recovery once again as you can see we're gonna boot it into custom recovery now and after booting into custom recovery what you need to do is let me show you we, I am booting into custom recovery here we have orange fox custom recovery which it is booted right now and here you need to install the kernel and as I previously mentioned here at the starting of the video the link to install download this kernel is already in the description now you can take the reboot after installation is complete swipe to install it will take some time to install agni kernel for me tool of course agni kernel has better performance according to some I haven't tried out that and in the terms of performance this is MIUI every MIUI has issues with performance every device every MIUI custom room has issues so just don't expect much because if you are AOSP lover and if you have ever used AOSP based custom rooms then you will never love MIUI this is the reality as you can see it is installing rebooting in 1 seconds 2 seconds after clicking on reboot your device will be re rebooted and you might not face any kind of issues very simple thing this is how you can install this thing on your device and if you like this make sure to like this video if you're new here don't forget to subscribe me to get all these videos reviews etc so this is all thanks for watching don't forget to like and share this video goodbye when i stay over the edge feel like i'm floating through the air